Hello everybody, I wanted to share a bit of my happiness uh, to you. I have caught something that is really cool. That is called uh, the Boolean history pattern. Uh, basically, it's tracking uh, the value, uh, the switch value of a Boolean uh, that you named um, through time. And so, for example, here you can see that I'm tracking all that. But the cool part is that you can do regularization uh, to ask question to uh, the history the register. Uh, for example, here I can ask is the user is using up, and here I can say yes or not. Is the user is going up and down, up and down, ta -ta -da, true. So if I press the both of them, and uh, you can do plenty of other stuff like is it up and down for uh, a certain amount of time? For for, in, for example, here uh, is it up for at least one second and down for at least um, uh, half a second? Here, uh, so, uh, half a second is like this. Uh, you can see that it's converted. So what that, that's what you write. That's what the uh, program understands, and that's the answer. So is it up uh, for one second? Yes. And is it down for at least 550 milliseconds? Yes. And so now you have two. And so you can ask question on time, but you can also ask question uh, more complex, like is it switching from true to one? Is it switching and staying true and stuff like this? So um, you, you for, for asking those kind of question, you use uh, some Unicode. Um, I really, uh, I'm looking for a window like this. So you can use uh, those Unicode. Um, for example, those, it means did it switch? Did it uh, switch to true or false? Uh, is it true uh, or false? Is it maintaining? Uh, is it less or equal? Uh, and this one, for example, is a really cool one because you can use it as a bumper. So, up, I will show you a bit. So, if I'm saying uh, up, bumper, uh, down, uh, two time uh, in the last five seconds. But what it means is, uh, you can see here, for example, if I'm pressing space, you can see that it become true and it become false and it makes this shape. And that's why I use this Unicode is because I'm, I'm asking, is the user creating this shape between zero and five uh, seconds? If you want to say between one second and five seconds, you can press, you can do this like this and it will convert to one second to five seconds. Here we want to check zero. And so now I will just do um, two time uh, down with up, 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 up. Tada, it's true. And uh, if you want to check if the user is pressing three time during uh, the last uh, three seconds, up. So here the, the, the sound, if I doing one, it's nothing, two, it's nothing, three, it's nothing because too much time has passed. But if I do it in the trois, true. Ta-da! <laughs> I, I think that it's crazy amazing uh, because you can really do some combination. For example, if you want to know if a user is uh, moving or not, you can say just up, down, left, right, like this. And like here I just write, is the user uh, is moving in any way? And if you want to check, uh, for example, you have an Arduino, and the Arduino sometimes go to false and then go to true because uh, some paras parasite sound or something like that. You can say, uh, for example, is the user is up for a percentage of at least 80% uh, from uh, zero to uh, five seconds or three seconds, we say, like this. And uh, basically what it means is that uh, if I press up, but sometimes I have some switch, but mainly I stay up, for 80% of the time, then okay, it's true. And so uh, that's what's happening it's here. It's ah, so you have plenty of regex like this that I have code and that I will maybe add some stuff, but I think I have the main group uh, that you can ask is through time this state is true or not. And a part that is cool too is that uh, you can use it like this, uh, li uh, like a text to be able to uh, do it. So you can do it any in any application and outside of Unity. For example, you can do it in a XML file and import it in your application. Uh, but another part that is really, really cool is that you can use it uh, like, uh, I'm checking for Unity. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, like this. For example, you are coding your application and you want to ask question. 
uh, you can uh, write it like this. So Boolean logic, can you check if? Uh, and here you have uh, one main register, but you can make several of them. So this one is when you want to target a group of Boolean. And this one will take the default one that you can uh, that is in the application. So here I'm saying is the default Boolean logic register. Uh, can you check in it if uh, up, left, down, and right is maintained to true for at least one second? Th that's what I'm writing here. And as I'm uh, as I know that this uh, condition, uh, I will use it a lot of time, uh, and that basically asking if the player is maintaining all direction you can already store it like this. So when you compute that, you can store it directly in that. You're not obliged, so if you want, you, you can just write it like this. And if you ask yourself, is it uh, performance consuming? Yes and not. Uh, basically what's happened here is that um, when, you when it compute the first time this value, it will store the logic, so uh, how to find this value. It will store it in a, in a dictionary. So it means that the next time you come, it will compute very, very quickly. So for example, it takes uh, 100 milliseconds to create the logic. And when you call it later, it takes less than one millisecond to cal compute it. So yeah, it's not so time, it's not so consuming. Here you have two uh, not error. So basically what happened is that you can ask, is it true or is it false? And, and and E mean no exception because you want to say if it's true and s nothing wrong happen. So that's the way you can use it in your code. And I, I think it, I think it's really really powerful. And I will use it in all my future game now because it yeah it's it facilitates a lot of stuff. So to be able to use this up and down, what happened is that you need to register uh, those value. How you can do that? Basically. Uh, to give you a bit of an example, if I was using a player uh, health, uh, life, what happened here is that I'm saying uh, if uh, the player life is under uh, 0 0.1 uh, um, life, it means that the player is dead, for example. And if the it's under 0.5%, uh, it's that the player is almost dead. So you have the Boolean name here, uh, some data that you can use. And here what I'm doing is that I'm, s I'm just uh, checking every then and then, so every once again here, I'm checking those values and putting them in the, reg in the register. So here I'm saying, um, na -na -na -na. Oh yeah, it's here. So basically in the update, I'm saying, is the player moving that, uh, it's player moving direction that, and the life, ah yeah, here. The life is uh, that every uh, then and then, I update the info of the player. Uh, and update the info is here. And basically what I do is that I say uh, register of Unity. Could, give, could you give me the, the database of Boolean and set uh, the Boolean that is called life dead uh, name to is the life is under or equal to player life dead. And you can see that here I'm storing the logic of those as a boolean, and then you can use it like you want. So you can really easily um, uh, come with your own code and put it in the register. I it's not, uh, it's really not hard to add some boolean uh, as you want, and it's really not hard to ask the state uh, of those boolean. So yeah, I'm I'm talking a bit of a, a bit a bit of plenty of stuff that you don't care, but that's amazing. Just if you are interested uh, by this, feel free to come on the Discord to ask questions. The code is on Git uh, on GitHub in the description, and uh, it will be on Unity Store for I don't know the price, uh, maybe 10 or 20 or 40 euro for people that want to use it commercially for the game. Um, for the moment, it's uh, stable enough, but not stable enough for Unity Store. So feel free to come to test to see a bit how it's working. Uh, to ask me question on Discord, and I hope that you like it and that you will, you will use it because uh, me uh, that my plan to use it in all my future games. So yeah, thank you for listening. I hope that you liked uh, my uh, sharing of this cool new tool that I've designed. Uh, and see you next time. May the code be with you. Bye.